Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to do one of these Gmail signatures. So we'll need to start by going to your Google Drive. So just drive.google.com and you'll automatically have a Google Drive if you have a Gmail address. And then you'll want to click New in this top left corner and Google Doc. So it'll just open up this blank document here. And from here we want to add a table. So insert the table and you'll just want to do two by one like that. So this is kind of the framework of our signature. You can see my signature here has this image and then this portion of text and buttons. So this will be where the image goes and this will be where the portion of text goes. So I'll just kind of adjust the size a little bit and I need to write in what I want it to say. So I'll just copy it from here so I don't have to type it out again. And then once you paste it, or once you type it out in there, you can just format it however you like. So you can just format it by changing the font up here, changing the size of the font. Um, so all your all your font options will be up here so it's really easy just like word or pages or whatever you use normally and then we just have to change the table so it doesn't have borders so if you just hit table table properties and just zero it out and click OK so that will look like that for now and that's as far as we're going with this Google Doc I'm just gonna click um, Command A or Control A depending on what computer you're on and then I'm just gonna right click copy so then head to your Gmail and then click this cog here and go into settings and that's where your signature will be and I'll just delete this so I can show you how to start from scratch and I'll just paste that in so you can see it's kept all the formatting from the Google Doc which is really handy because you can't do that formatting. You have hardly a good choice of fonts or sizes. So you can do much more formatting in the Google Doc than you can in the actual signature portion. So first we'll need to add an image of ourselves or you can use your logo or you don't even actually have to add this. You could just not add an image but I think it's quite good to have an image of yourself there. So. Um, I've actually already got one ready to go but if you don't then you can just drag and drop any sort of file there good for it to be either a circle or a square or something something that will look good in your signature and obviously that's way too big right now so I'll just um, make it medium size as you can see it's actually still too big but we're gonna go back and resize that later on so now uh, we need to add the buttons. So we can go to www.flaticon.com. It's a super cool website that has tons of free icons. So I'm gonna search Facebook. And um, I'll choose this one. This is the kind of the style I like. And they all have sort of different options. This one in particular, I can change the color of it, which is really cool. Some of them you can't, but a lot of them you can. So if you want to change the color of it, um, just have a good look around and most of them you can change. So we want to use PNG. And then you can see here, I can change the color of it to whatever I want. So I'm going to change it to my brand colors. So I'll add this one as, that's my color, yep. Um, cool, so then you just choose what size you want to download it as. So um, we'll be changing the size of this probably anyway, um, but I will download the 64. That's just 64 by 64 pixels. And I'll come back into here and just click where you want to add it insert image and I've already got one that I prepared earlier it's exactly the same so I'll just use that one but otherwise 
you would just upload it, or I can just upload this one, and drag it into there. And you can see that it is not a good size, but just like the image, we will go back and change it later. So I'll upload my other icons. These are just ones I did earlier, but I just did them all the same way on this flaticon.com. Cool, so now all we have to do before we resize the image is just, um, we'll add links to the images. So I like to link my photo to the website, my website. Okay, so now we've added all the links, we can resize these images. So the options for resizing in the signature editing panel are really not good. You've only got this sort of small, large, medium options. You don't have much control over it. So the way I do it is I save it. And then I compose a new email. Just go back to settings, scroll down and it's here. So I resize it in an actual email. So this is actually a new message. This is where we edited the signature before and this is the new message. So you can see that they have these little tabs around them so you can actually adjust the image, all of the images a lot easier than you can adjust them in the actual signature editor. So I just like to edit these until I like how big they are. It's a little bit tricky to get them exactly the same size. And if you're a perfectionist like me, it can take a while. Um, so I'm just going to add a bit of space between them. And then I'm just going to shift enter just to create a little space there as well. Okay, so I'm happy with how it looks now, finally, and now I'm just going to copy it, just as it is, just highlight it, copy it, and just minus out of that, and go back into our signature editor, and delete what we had previously done, and paste the new one. So now you can see it's just sized exactly how we did it in the email, and these should all still be linked which they are, and that's it, easy as that, and remember to save.